This email is making fun of you. Too weak, Pat. What is your bottom ten? From someone stronger than you. Oh, man. This person made all kinds of typos. Let me type this. They forgot this. They got this wrong. Ah, there we go. Oh, Simone. You seem like a really nice girl. So I'll answer your question relatively free of charge. Strong Bad's bottom ten is as follows. Number ten is easy. Dry t-shirt contest. You will never find a more degrading contest or a larger waste of not water. Creeping in at number nine is that horrible painting that's been in Strong Mad's closet since we were little. Come on in here. <laughs> Incidentally, the Ghiblis currently occupy slot number 11 on my bottom 10. Number eight is one you should all pay close attention to. Emails with more than one food or re in the subject line. Back out of my way so I can check some email. Oh, great. Let me guess. It's true. You saw it on the news. Or, hey, sounds crazy, but thought it was worth a shot. Yeah, a shot in the face, maybe. Now, seven is something that's been going on for way too long. Miniaturized versions of already bite-sized food. Yowza! Guess who birthday it is? Mars! Sorry, Marshy, but it's my birthday. I'm one years old. My name's Nibbles for new Fluffy Puff Marshmallows Bite Size. All new Fluffy Puff Bite Size Nibblers are perfect for newborn type babies and scalding hot chocolate. No more mouth strain with Fluffy Puff Nibblers. I make good earplugs too. Get out of here, you little runt! And a number six, uh, the foul stench of wet the cheat. <laughs> And number five, um, not pigeons. They eat breadcrumbs. They craps on people. Funny stuff. Number four, there was this one time where I had to hug a tree. Keep on hugging it. How did you get me to do this in the first place? Hug it, hug it. And why do I continue to do it? Keep on hugging it. Hug it down. I don't even like this tree that much. Oh, now we're getting to the good ones. Number three is the ridiculous trend of giving chocolate desserts dangerous names. You know, like Chocolardiac Arrest. Oh, that looks sinful. Or, this brownie might kill you. Oh, this is so rich. Or quite possibly the least appetizing name of all time, Chocozuma's Revenge. This is all fat-free, right? Shut up, lady. Slumming in at number two are songs that try to pass off lalas, nanas, and doop doos as legit lyrics, as evidenced in limousines bizarrely titled Feed the Children's. Na na la la la, na na la la la, na na la la la, Oh, what were they thinking? More like. We need to feed our children, so we made this terrible song. And the number one item on Strong Bad's bottom ten is... Hey, Strong Bad, what about my bottom... Nobody wants to hear your bottom ten, Homestar. No, no, not my bottom ten. My bottom, you know. But dance again, like the rhythm's down your pants now. And the number one item on Strong Lad's bottom ten is... Cleaning up your own puke off the keyboard. Simone, that'll be seven fifty. And bring some paper towels. Ew. And some tweezers. I think I see a fluffy puff nibbling in there. <laughs> No, there's no Easter eggs. I just, I'm not up to it. Go away. Whoa, where are my-
I doing in this tiny box? Let me out, tiny box! Oops. Hope you got the extended warranty.